Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, and today we are here with Matt hanging out. You came up from Indiana. Yep. Welcome to the lab. Thank you. Now, your first time here, you got to ride the robot. Yes. And, and like, oh my god, cool, right? Yeah. And we've been working on robot repair for, oh god, a month? I'd say so. <laughs> and today is the day of the big surgery. We've, we've got parts, we've got what we believe is everything we need to try an experiment. We have no idea if this will work. Um, to our knowledge, this has never been done before. It may or may not work. Either way, we're going to publish this video. So there, there is actual real drama here. This could completely fail, and we could break a lot of really expensive equipment doing it. So you wanted to come up and, and be part of the insanity on this. Yes. So, yes, and Matt is a G3 member from Indiana, and he's pretty awesome. Yeah, you, he's uh, went with his dad and got us the big transmitter over there, our gigahertz transmitter. So he's earned the right to come and play, I think. All right, are you up for this? All right. This, this is serious computer mojo today. Yeah. So there's, there's high levels of geekery. Now, this is what we've got. Um, this is a CR2, I think, um, or KC2, which is pretty much KUKA Computer 2. All right? All right. So we have this KC2. This is an antique computer. Ignore this. This is crap. Um, right. <laughs> this, this was from a project yesterday. And Omni is helping. Omni, go lay down. Okay. Um, we have a KC1 there. All right. We've got a 2 here. We've got a 2 there. And we've got lots of 2 parts. But we have to make a KC1 work because Jeff runs out of KC1. So my theory, theory, is that we can take the motherboard and hard drive out of this computer and put them in that computer and reload the operating system, partition a drive, and do all this from scratch. This is stuff they normally do in a factory. Normal right. end users, guys like us, never do this. And we're going to kit bash a very large, very expensive, very delicate robot. It all might right. work, it might not, it might fry something. But as we go, we'll cover some of the parts and I'll answer any questions you have because the questions you would have, having never seen this before, are probably the same questions that the people at home would have. All right. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, let's get to work. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to, in taking everything out of there, static bag it and make sure it's all super safe in case we have to put it back. All right. So that we don't destroy the originals. The only thing that we have any, th that I have any fear of really destroying is the MFC card, which is the multifunction card. So it's just an MFC, otherwise it's like saying ATM machine. But right. it's uh, this thing here, because the computer itself is pretty much just a regular computer. It runs Windows 95, but it doesn't actually use it. Windows 95 is just used for the graphical user interface. Um, it runs a real-time operating system that, of course, is custom to KUKA. It's called, like, VM something or other, I don't know. But this is the MFC. And this is a separate card. Um, it has a different name. I don't remember what it is. But we've had this card fail before. It's, this is a DSE. There's an MSE and a DSE. And the MSE is back there, and this is here. And it's on the MFC, which is the big card. All we've right. had the little card fail, and we had to get a new one and replace it. So I've been down that road, and that was like two grand. And that, and was, that was our major failure? Yeah, that was the other major failure we've had with the robot. We've, we've only had, so far, two major failures. And this time, we think it's the motherboard that's dead. Uh, All right. I'm pretty sure the power supply is good, though. So here, I'm going to set this right here, because I may need that in the future. So what I'm going to do is we have a bunch of static bags here. And they have other parts that we don't even have robots that go with these parts. So I'm not really, and, and we don't need static bags for cables. So I'm going to start handing you static bags. All right. I'm going to use all the cable static bags first. And some guy at home is watching this going, oh my god, don't do that to that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Okay, that should be enough to get us started, you think? Maybe grab a couple more. You never have too many static bags. Hey, guys at home watching, send us static bags. Okay, we, we, we need more. Ooh, this looks different. Hey, that's not KUKA parts. 
doesn't even belong up here. All right, now we have a handful of static bags, so we're cool. I'm gonna put, there, ground out. I'm gonna put this in static bag. And we're just gonna set this stuff aside in a safe spot. All right, now in here we have a motherboard, a ethernet card, power supply, CPU, RAM, the whole nine. Um, we're going to remember that there's two IDE channels, one and two. One on this computer right now is the hard drive. Oh, it doesn't matter, we're going to change all that around, so it doesn't, you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, what would a robot like this one need an ethernet card for? Um, the, on the CR2 series, or the, the KC2, is that what this is? Um, the robots can talk to each other. You could have like three robots ah. connected via ethernet, and they can coordinate movements. Hmm. So you can have uh, two robots, you could have two robots pick up a part and a third robot welding on it while the part's moving. So like one robot gets one end, one robot zero, and they can, they can coordinate movements like that. It's really neat to see. Yeah, KUKA actually has a video of them doing the car body. Yeah. The, with the Titan where it picks up the car body and then yeah, another and one where it like the moves it around. Yeah. Um, the coolest one I've seen so far is the one with uh, the soccer ball as far as multiple robots. I don't think I've seen that. I'll have to check it out, though. Now, see, that is just a regular 3Com Ethernet card. But right. It's got a little funny KUKA sticker on it, so we treat it carefully. A lot of the stuff, off-the-shelf parts will work, and that's the thing that, that KUKA doesn't want you to know, but it's, I don't think it's a danger because I don't think the, the people that have these in production environments are going to go out buying their own parts. Yeah. But the memory for that, to get it from KUKA, was 200 bucks. A stick for a 128 megabyte stick wow. of memory. I'm like, yeah, right. So I got on Crucial, looked up the motherboard model, ran it through Crucial, and they're like, oh, 20 bucks a piece. Da -da -da! And I bought three of them. So, <laughs> so for 60 bucks for three, plus 20 bucks overnight shipping, Okay, 80 bucks, less than half the price of one memory card, and yeah. I got three of them. So, you know, yeah. This Screw would have been so much easier in May or March of this year, because that's actually when Soyo, the company that makes the motherboard, went out of business. So they just went out of business? Yes, they okay. just went out of business this Here year. Here is a hard drive, which we don't know how big it is, and it's a KUKA hard drive. It's a little KUKA thing in there. Um, <laughs> Well, we know it, it's compatible with this motherboard because it was hooked to this motherboard. So, and it's set as the master. So we're going to set that right there. But that's our hard drive, and we will need that. We don't need that. OK. Grab my number two Phillips, and now I'll take the motherboard. No, these are all number one Phillips. That's annoying. Most computers are built with number two Phillips screws everywhere. Yeah. <coughs> now the uh, CPUs on these run off 24 volts DC. You can see that's the input power there. Yeah. But beyond that, it's just a regular computer power supply. Should be cool. There we go. All right, we've got the one last screw there. So here is our motherboard. Now the new motherboard is. We'll uh, let Mikey get a good shot of this. It is a super something or other. Do you see a brand name anywhere in there? I don't see anything on the uh, back. No, I do not. Okay. Well. It's labeled a Super 370 SBA Revision 1.1. 1 
Um, it's also got SW520172, made one of 03. So this board, 2003. And static bag, do we got a big one? Uh, big snack bag. Okay. Actually, before we bag this, I'm going to set it down. Set this down on the bag. <coughs> I want to pop off the CPU cover. This is a PGA 370 board. Because I want to see exactly what the CPU is. All right. I'm guessing we'll also possibly have to replace the battery uh, on that board. It would probably be a good idea, but it should be okay. If it wonks out, we'll see. All right. Our CPU is a Intel Celeron. It is... <coughs> SL of 3B, 3BA. And it's a FV524RX433. So I think that's a 433 megahertz Celeron. Yeah, made in 1998. I don't know, somebody posted about it, like, oh, you're going to bend all the pins and that. Like, that was me. That was you? Okay, yeah. why were you worried about that? Well, because I've never really taken a CPU like that back out. Oh, I'd okay. Put well, one in. Here, here's the trick to it. You put the lever up like yeah. that, and as long as the lever is up when you put it in or take it out, you'll see how there's a corner here with the little, yeah. the three rows there. You just drop it in, and it'll just fall right in place. You don't have to push it at all. It is, in fact, re it, it requires, in fact, zero force to do that, and I did it wrong. Um, there's two sides with triangles. So, there you go. But you line it up right, and it just drops in, okay? There's no force. And then you push that down, and that clamps it in. Then, then you can lift the board by that. Yeah. But that's a zero insertion <coughs> force, zip socket. And then we put this back on. And there's a close side and a far side. And that's the far side. So I'm going to line that I up. have a computer at home that I built when I was actually 11. And the hardest part, I would say, was getting the heat sink on. It yeah. can be a major pain in the butt. I think it was in AMD socket A. Okay. And the tabs that held it were just solid steel, so had to take the fan off and bend them. Okay, our CPU cooler is in place. All right. So there is our new motherboard. Now we got to take the old one out. All this right. This is where we're playing. Now this this is all junk scrap parts that Kuka gave us when they gave us truckloads of stuff. Now we have to go play with the real thing. So right. this is where it gets scary. So I've got my screwdrivers. I got static you got bags. Static bags. Where are you go? Are you scared? Uh, not really. I, I am a little. Because this is really expensive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to take the memory out of here because this is a new stick of RAM that I put in here. So that's a known perfect good. And we've turned off power to the robot, so we're safe there. Um, All right. Hmm. All right, for safety, let's just take this whole thing here and pick it up and set it over here and try not to do that. <laughs> Just gonna set it right here. We've got an impressive mess happening in here. Okay. And those are other brands of memory that have been tried and failed and whatnot. All right. So this memory's in the case, so it's fine. We'll just toss that over there. All right. So that's the memory. Now this is a known good hard drive. So I'm gonna very carefully remove this. And this is the hard drive that had the setup on it. So we bag that. Thank you, sir. And I'm going to put the hard drive up here. OK. Now, we don't need the speaker. See, I did a lot of this the other day. Yeah. I put a speaker on it. 
I put power reset, all that on it. So we'll just set these aside because we may want those and we put the new one in so we can hear error codes and whatnot. All right. Now there's a lot of cables involved here. Are all those even used? No, they're not. I think huh. they were at one point, but they're not now. Like a lot of these aren't plugged in and I've actually added cables here because I run an external video monitor to it, which is that monitor. Since the pendant screen is... Oh, the pendant. <laughs> the pendant of pain. The pendant of angst and suffering. Ah. Okay, there's the motherboard plug. I also replaced the motherboard battery on this computer. All right. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's a wire that goes off somewhere. Um, it could be a fan, it could be a power sense thing for the computer. I really have no idea. Pull that out, pull that out. Now that's everything, so that's this power supply, and we don't need that. All right. We're going to reuse our CD and floppy drives, so we'll just All leave right. those in there. Um, I am going to take... No, I'm going to leave these cables right in there, too. There's no reason not to. So we'll just unplug those. So there's all our IDE. We'll just tuck that off and out of the way. So we don't need that. So there's all our power. There's all our IDE. Take, take totally clear. Now this is the video card. And I bent this out of the way because it wasn't seating properly. So let's ah. bag that. Now look at the video card and you'll notice it's right there. KUKA, which tells you custom silicon off the bat. Yeah. It's a PCI video card, but it has this, like, RJ45 connector up here. You know, or like the a Cat 5 pendant. That, that feeds video to the pendant. And then this is your external monitor. So, and it is a KUKA KVGA 1.0-71-039-276. And it's a one megabyte video card. Yeah, that's hardcore. Bag it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we get into the scary stuff. And this is where we're going to need to make some notes. So we're going to need a pen and paper. Or at yeah. least a piece of paper. We've got a piece of paper right here. Look at that. Do you have a clipboard with paper on it? That would be wonderful. Just set this up here. Uh, set it over there with the other stuff. All right. Here, there's another stick of RAM, too, that's brand new. So you only tried one? Yeah, I only tried one. Actually, I think I put one in that computer over there, too. Ah. But yeah, you can see right there, crucial. Doo, doo, doo. And it is a the, the memory for this. Here's, here's the receipt from Crucial. You guys can see it. It's uh, The part number is Charlie Tango 16, Mike 64, Sam 4, Delta 75 point, Mike 8 Tango Bravo, which is a 128 megabyte, 168 pin DIMM. 16M times 64 SD RAM PC133 with a CL of 3. All right. And now all the geeks at home who are sitting around on a Saturday afternoon taking apart their KUKA robots know <laughs> the memory they need. All right. Now, the bottom cable, like from here, yeah. okay, we'll draw the card like this. And that's our, our end. I'll draw a nifty little end there so we know which side goes up. All right, bottom one is X808, and the X goes up, okay, because the X is up. All right. So the red is down, and it's on this side of the card, so we know that. And we unplug that. Now, you know what this cable does? I have um. no idea, <laughs> but it does something very important because it goes in that box. Now this cable goes, who knows where the hell this cable goes, but this is the X807 cable. That just runs back around the side here. Okay. To the thing with all the relays on it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. The board over there with all the yep. Okay. That's the X807, and the red is down, and the X goes down, see, so we'll unplug that, 
and try not to lose the damn thing. And next we have this cable, which is X811.1. We have here and here. And this one is X811.1. And it has no markings for polarity. So we'll just say the cable comes out this side. That'll be our marker there. All right. OK. And then we have this one, where the red is the bottom. Looks like there's three more that go. Yeah, but they don't actually plug in. And oh, there's no way to. Looks like they do. These? This does. No, no, no. Up here. Oh, yeah, more. they do. OK. Well, let's hope there's a number on the thing. Ah, there's a number tag back there. X806, red goes down. X806, <coughs> red goes down. So that's that one. And then we have a great and wonderful. X812.1. That came out of here, right? Yes. OK. X812.1. And we'll say gray is the top. Okay. It looks like you have uh, Ethernet going on there. Yeah, there's a funny Ethernet one, and that's X804. And I don't have to record yeah. the direction because <laughs> it only goes in one way. So that's that. Okay. And. There is all the joy of that evil card. Okay. I'm going to put that end in first. That's the delicate end. Okay, now set that over there, please. And now we can move that wad o mess out of the way. Okay, now we've got our serial cable here which God knows what we'll need that for, but put it with it. <sighs> now I've got another serial cable that comes out here. Can you see it? Um, this little cable here? Here, we need to keep it that way. I've got a little cable here. Yep, see I it? see it. Where does it go? It goes into the board as COM1. Oh, up front. OK. So that's just an external serial connection. That's yeah. where we stick a mouse. Because this, this is a PS1 keyboard. So all right, well, we've got to keep these three out of the way. So we'll, we'll tuck them over there. And at this point, I think we just take the motherboard out. It's, it's clear. It's clean. It's nice. All right. So we'll set our clipboard over here. So you having fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that serial cable over there would be for, from what I read on their website, for diagnosis. Diagnosis? Sure. I have no idea. Hey, camera people, can we have a, uh, a little dish for putting bolts in? All right, Matt. Yep. Put your finger right here and just hold push that to the back. Cuz when I take out the next screw it's going to fall. You know the motherboard is old because it's coppery colored. Yeah.
Okay. Now, the big question is, will the new one fit? I've got it. All right. Got a bag? Um, no. Now, this is a uh, SY71ZB plus N Soyo motherboard. Now, that chip looks removable. What would that be That's for? the BIOS. Oh, that's it. Wow. Yeah, that, that is the BIOS. Well, the, the other one will have a chip just like it. Yeah. Too. In fact, the motherboard you have at home has a BIOS chip on it. Every motherboard ever made has a BIOS chip on it. New ones are really small, though. Yeah, they they changed the form factor. Yeah. Did they bring us a little dish? Did Where where our camera people go? <laughs> we need a dish. All right, grab a bag. Bag. Thank you. Let's see. These already have stuff in them. Huh? Are they all full? Yeah. Grab a new one. Yeah, grab a new one. All right. Ah! No, here's the cable. Can this be large enough? No. Camera people, we're moving. You're going to lose us. OK, come here. Not sure if this will be large enough, but. If it's not, we'll just set it on it. Yeah. And set it on the floor, like that. OK, now grab the new board. All right. You don't need the bag, just the board. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh we're, in, we're running into problems right off the bat. What would that be? Well, the old board was of a different, a radically different layout. This may not even fit in here. Ooh. Well, we had an encounter on that. We're going from AT to ATX. The motherboards are about the same uh. size. So I was like, oh yeah, it'll fit. But see how the cards are all different? Yep. And there's no way to make it sit in there like that with all the stuff in the way. So you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to run it naked. All right. Just as a test. So we'll just lash it together and see if it works. So I'm going to set this here. Would now this power also supply, have to be loaded with USB drivers? Yeah, and I don't think Windows 95 has USB drivers. It doesn't. But we don't need to use, use the USB. So right. that just won't be there. So all I'm right, so about it doesn't that. even have to. Yeah. All right. Um, the problem is the power supply. Yeah. You have no idea what those are, do you? No. Okay. I've seen them, but I don't. Back in the day, instead of the modern power supply feed like this, which is an ATX power feed, okay, this is what you're used to? Yeah. Back in the day, they had two separate plugs, and they looked like that. Oh. And actually, I think I might have them backwards, but yeah. It sat like that. And that was the AT power header. So we're going to use this power supply, which will be fine. Um, we'll just plug it in. We, we had that running before. In fact, we just disconnected all that as part of the setup here. Actually. Yeah. So we need to find something to set this on so it'll be safe. I think we can, because we can't have it hitting the metal. Um, this is going to be really kludgy, but I think we could get away with just setting it on top on a sheet of plastic or something. Um, we're going to need a, hey, <laughs> convenient sheet of plastic right there. See? That's our hookup. This is so ghetto-tacular, it's unbelievable. Now, if we'll people at KUKA right saw there. this, they'd probably have a heart attack. The people at KUKA would like throw rocks at us for this. Okay, so we need the two cards. This is not the proper way to do it. Okay, this is as, as improper a way to do it as can be done. We're going to send Moose off to get us a uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse. And we'll just stick this right in here. Oh, that's backwards. Yeah, it might help if it's the right way. Train professional. Now, the only thing these have in common is both of these computers came from some manner of KUKA robot. Yeah. That may or may not be enough. 
But we're Hopefully gonna, we're, it is. We've got a dream. We're going to try. Are you living the dream? Yes, <laughs> I am living the dream. <laughs> okay, we've got memory in it. So we're cool there. I'm going to connect the cables. Now you, we've got the chart here. Hopefully the cables won't knock it off. Yeah, we'll hope. If I can take do, the, I think I can get the cables it. off the thing. That'd I don't be know. so convenient. I don't know. It's like there. It's a rather ferocious connector to put the cable on there. So there you we'll go. see. Okay, there's two. Yeah, that. <laughs> we don't need that. We've got a pair of dikes right here, so we can take the cables apart. We're living a dream, Matt. We're living the Kuka robot dream. Yep. All right. We don't even. I don't even know what that does. So we obviously don't need that. Now, some of these we needed. So we'll get to those. We didn't record which was the video cable, did we? Um, did we? No, we didn't. Ooh. But All right. if I'm, we did record which one was that. And yeah, and there's only I two. I do believe that. No, there's these up here, too. Oh, shit. So we don't know. All right. Well, this only goes in one way, so I'm just going to plug this in. I do remember, I think, this one hanging down. We, we have just no idea. Really. You, have, you have no idea. You're right. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at this thing for months, and I have no idea. So I know you're screwed. I'm, I think it's that one, because that goes way off to the side there like that. OK. And then this goes in here. Double check my plugs and make sure I'm doing this some manner of right. One's got to go there. I'm using the memory of the plug to get them back in some semblance of order. Because they've been plugged in here for 20 years, so they kind of want to go right back in their hole. Yeah. Didn't we have something here? Yes, we, we? did. Are we sure? That would be, I think, the X807. Okay, where is X? Oh, that's the one down here. Yep. Okay. Is there any way to get reach this on Can you bring that around the other oh. way? Can you bring that here, the 807 cable is that one? Oh, heck, that'd be easier. Well, cool. All right, hold the motherboard. Got it? Got it. If we make it through the day alive, we'll be doing good. Okay. Is that Since we're not even using the... Since you use an external monitor anyway, do we even need the that seems one in the video card? There. Well, to make the pendant useful, yeah, you do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, so would that do so let's, more than let's just video? Let's plug in one into the video card. Get the yeah, video right. for the monitor. <sighs> monitor. OK. All right, so there's all the ancillary cables. Now get the keyboard. Keyboard. Thank you, sir. And mouse? Does the keyboard go on top or bottom? Uh, not labeled. Say. I'm just going to put keyboard in the bottom. And here's All right. Mouse. Now, plug a mouse in while you chase that down. This is our floppy cable, which goes, which way is pin one on flo Oh, that's easy. OK, there's our floppy. Here's our CD-ROM, which I'll put on IDE2. Now, hard drive, please. Hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse jumped up and bit. No, bring the, bring the cable. Bring the cable. Oh, bring the cable. Yep. Because as I remember, that was set up for master. Yeah. Yeah, master single. So I'm just going to plug this right in. All right, put this somewhere. Put what's up, the mouse? Yeah. So that it doesn't attack you again? You scared of the mouse? Do you live in fear? Yes, yes, you should. I do live in fear. If you don't live in fear, then your dad failed as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's very clearly labeled pin one. 
there. And yeah. crammed in behind the memory card. Plug that in. Yeah. Alright. And... Nah. Are you done messing around? Alright, I'm gonna let this hang from that, so don't drop it. Alright, and we need a power supply, which is down here. Uh, I can just oh. cram that in here at the moment. Okay. Um, floppy. And normally, like, pe people are watching this going, gotcha. why are they bothering Whoa. with the floppy drive? And it's because we need the floppy drive to put the operating system on it, because this is Windows 95. Alright, watch out there. I'm gonna... Okay, there's the floppy. Also, with this hanging down, it wants to bring the motherboard down. Of with course, it, it does. <laughs> I wish we could just set this all on the floor. Though, so with those cables disconnected, you know, it might actually be we? easier with a clamp. A clamp? Yeah. Well, hey, can you grab us a clamp? Like a C clamp of some sort or something? I think we, I think we could set this all on the floor. I can cable. cut those cables. You want to try it? Sure, why it not? It might be easier. Um, here, you hold everything. I'll get the dikes. And I'm just going to unzip my way down these cables. Uh, no clamp at the moment. We might have a better way. I'm just going to try very hard not to cut something that costs $50,000. Yeah, that would suck. Okay, hold that. Here, I'm going to take the hard drive right off because that's the only part there that you could really break easy just by being there. Yeah. Right, the hard drive is back over where the hard drive was before. All right, easy okay. enough. Swing the door that way. The only problem we might have is this one here. I think that we have absolutely no limit to the only problems we might have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Now, that doesn't go, that doesn't go, that, I don't even know what the hell that is. Look at this electrical tape on it. <laughs> it did not come in a factory that way. See, that's what you get when you get into prototype stuff. Yeah. All right, so we're cool here. Lift up. Yep. Well, got it clamped in over here. Where? Oh, that? Yeah. That should pop. Yeah, there. Okay, there's a big one and a little one. Okay, that should come out. Can we set it down? Are you cool? I don't know. I'm, oh, you've I'm got the other drives. Yeah. All right, well, here, right. just unplug the other drives, and we'll work around those. All right, are we cool now? I think so. Okay, here. You head around this way, and I'll get back in the hole and right. sort out the drives. Let's see if we can get down to the floor. I don't know where the hell that cable goes. The large one the, is yeah, the, the only one, one that's the... going to... All right, well, set on top of the monitors. No, like, we want to be right on the floor. Can we get low enough? Uh, I'm going to see if I can We would if we were able to bring it back this way a little bit what? more. So. Oh. Shove the monitor out of the way. You're not going to hurt it, just shove it. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can find out where that big cable goes. Oh, God. All right, I can get you... You know that big cable thing? Yeah. You're pretty much screwed. Yeah, milk crate would be cool. The What's big cable uh, goes right down that side, flat like it goes in, flat down the side, all the way down to the bottom, and then comes across and goes to... Here, look. It goes to this. Uh, That's the cable. It goes to this thing, which is X11, which I have no idea what the hell that does. But it's really important, whatever it is. Really, really important. Yeah. It must be. <laughs> so what do you think the odds are that we really destroyed this machine in the process of doing this? Uh, what would you put our chances at of success? I have no clue. Oh, you gotta, you gotta make something up. I would say a milk crate. about 50 chance of success. I have a milk crate. Success. Okay, are you cool there? Are you happy? 
All right, seems to be happy. Are you experiencing a pleasant sensation of joy? Somewhat. Okay. Because I care. <laughs> All right, we don't want that to yeah. touch. Yeah. All right, and this has to. This this is a an absolute limiter. This has to plug in there. Yeah. And it can't be any further away from it than that. So there. That's our power to there. That's the only power thing we need to worry about. All right, now we have drive problems. Because we got to get the floppy connector down to there. we got to get all the other connectors. So we're going to have to take the damn drives out of this. Um, Would it be possible to use longer IDE cables? In theory, but it would probably take a lot less time to just pop the drives out of here. All right. Let's do that. It ain't got to be pretty. It's just got to be right. Yeah. I, I need these. Okay. Oh, I ain't going to drop out. Yeah, I'm just going to do one <laughs> at a time. Find that. Uh, might be a little bit hard if it dropped in. Did the it crate. go through? Yep. There? Okay, now I got to worry about it. Because if it's down there, it's not hurting anything. And we know where it is. Uh, At uh -oh. least for now. Uh oh, what? Uh oh, the screw is inaccessible from this side, and it's right there. Right where? On my finger. See it? Oh yeah, I see it. Can you get a screwdriver on it? Uh, Only the screwdriver I'm holding will work. I yeah, I figure that. One, but if can you get it? Uh, yeah, and if not, it looks like this uh, board part or whatever is just held in by two screws. What board? This part here oh, that okay. holds the drive, the fronts. All right. Um, hold still. Hold still. All right. All right. Here. Can you get that? I right guess that here. one right there. Yeah, that's it. You're moving. Okay, come off. I got it. Now do the one below it. Right here. Can you get that one? Yeah, Can that you one see might be. That one? Yeah, the <laughs> LPT one's in the way. Okay, well let's. Get that it looks like that might just come off. This should come out at this point. That was the fourth screw. Or I could just try. The floppy drive. Why doesn't the floppy drive come out? That's a good question. Wouldn't it come out this way though? It should move some way. It's not moving at all. That can be a problem. No. Oh, it looks like they might have a. Is that face plate on there? Yeah. But yeah. that's recessed in. Um, well, there is one rather extreme way to go at this. This will be a pain. Why? We, what else is it? No, to get this back in if we oh ever Oh yeah, do. if we have to put this back together, it's going to suck. Especially with all the screws. This is why we are not KUKA certified professionals. <laughs> all all right. right, and we have a grounding cable here. I got it. What's it. Does it just unplug? Yeah. Well, then unplug it. All right, you why, got that? Why, why aren't you unplugging it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Come on. You're going to get cut. Yeah, chances are. Bleed. Wiggling it up and down isn't gonna help. Okay, take that out. Hang on, you got you got to stay low because you got to yeah. clear the rubber things. Uh, I got this cable. Oh, this is just eight flavors of suck. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Somewhere there is a little German man laughing his ass off. I 
I could be in my attic right now, playing with trains, relaxing, putting windows in, in a stamping plant model that I'm building. That, that was my afternoon before you came along. My life was so nice, so quiet, so happy. Hang on. Hang on. There you go. All right, you should be totally cool. There, ah, ta-da! That, that right. cable indicates that the control's on. <laughs> That's all it does? It's a yeah. little light? God. All right. Okay, so that means that we don't need any of this. This is now out of our way, which is yeah. very pleasant. Where does this go? Where does that go? Yeah, that, that cable. I don't know where it is. Huh? Oh, that goes over here. Okay, well, let's we didn't make it easy enough. All right, we'll just fold that around out of the way. Because at this point, that mess is completely out of our way, which is nice. This is naked robot computer. OK, now we've got this. And this is our CD-ROM and everything. Power cord goes down there. I'm just going to set, th where the hell can I set this? I can set it right here for now. Sure, I can. Okay, we don't need any of these three plugs. This is our CD-ROM, so that's IDE2. We got to get IDE2 from here to there, and I'm going to pull that out and put it in like this. Uh-oh. Do you see that? Broken. Oh. I got a pin smashed over. I need a CD-ROM drive. I need a CD-ROM drive and I need a floppy drive. Hey, Matt. Nope. Look in that computer. I don't see anything. Look in that computer. All right. Bingo. I think. There's our CD-ROM here as a smashed pin. Can you pull it? Oh, this is going to be a heck of a lot easier. All right. Than that one, out. I think. How old is that? Not old. That may be a problem. Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep it here in case I need problem. it. See ROM drive. Yeah. Do you need a screwdriver or something? There's only one problem. Tight space about an inch for the back screws. All right. There so that go. means this whole part here would have to come out. Do you have my no? No. I oh, no. One. Never mind. Just need a... Large flat screwdriver. Large flat, so why, what are you doing? To drop this down, because the there's two screws in back. Actually, these are thumb screws. Yeah, here, watch out. Is there another one of those on the back? I do not know. Well, we'll know when I loosen this one. It'll either move or it won't. Feels <laughs> like it's on a track. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, push up a little. Thank you. All right. Got it. Oh, look at that. All right, here. Hang on. What the hell's holding it? Oh, OK. <laughs> IDE. Power. Power. These are much nicer and cleaner. And newer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We just spent 10 minutes screwing with the other one. <laughs> this computer is way nicer. OK. Now imagine from going to that one uh, to one of the ones that are just like small like this. Yeah, I, I don't even want to imagine what That'd the nice new pain. ones are like. Okay, um, there. Now we take our IDE. Here, you take that out. Right. That's IDE2. It'll be the CD-ROM drive. IDE cables in. It'd probably be easier to get IDE1 first then. Okay, well, here, IDE1. And here's the floppy. OK, yeah. the floppy is in. And I'm going to do power. Now my next question, where are we going to set the hard drive just laying up sideways? We'll just set the hard drive hanging down the side. All right. It'll be fine. Good enough. Fine. All right, I don't have to worry about that funny power sense thing. Grab the hard drive over there. Right. Um, we are almost ready. We are almost out of space. 
On A or B? <coughs> really? 37 minutes. Wow. <laughs> okay. We got this for an hour, dude. And there's power. So we have to hurry. We have seven minutes. Okay. Now we need a power cord. Power cord. Uh, right here. Right here. Oh. Okay. Um, where is our motherboard header? There is no motherboard header. The heck? Do you? I don't see one anywhere. <laughs> ah, down here. Oh, down there. Here, down here. Okay. Hold that out of the way. I'll plug out this of the in. Way. We need a power <coughs> switch and we need a power light. Okay. Power. For the switch, you could just jump it. I can, but it gets annoying in a hurry when it's buried under a cable. True. Um, and we need a speaker. And we need no, that should do it. We don't need a power light because we'll know if it boots up. Yeah. All right, we've got a speaker, we've got a keyboard, and mouse, and everything. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Um, hey, Ollie. Yep. Along the wall back behind you is a box with a lever on it. You see it? Uh, blue. Huh? Blue. It's blue and white, I think. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah, see that white lever? Push it up. So we'll have Ollie throw the safety first. We'll have the yeah. exchange student throw the main switch. Push hard. There you go. OK. You ready to do this? Yep. Are you a little nervous? <laughs> Let's get this somewhere where it can be. OK, can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Should we what? <coughs> no, let's see if it boots. Okay, you ready? Here, I you take ready. that button. That's your power button. All right. And this is my power button. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Shit. Power cord. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, this isn't whirring. I should hear noises. And we gotta hook the floppy in. So plug your floppy. You you do the floppy and give me the power cord. Power cord. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, That's good. kind of a tradition in the geek group of the one, two, three, <laughs> shit! And <laughs> that okay. should be one, uh, one of the shirts. Yeah, that's a t-shirt. The one, two, three, shit t-shirt, yeah. All right, ready? Yep. All right. <coughs> one, two, three. Okay, I saw your post lights come up. Fans up. Turn off. Hold, no, hold it. I see what your problem is. What? Video card wasn't seated. Uh, Is the other card seated? Oh, it's on the motherboard. That's why. Oh, okay. All right, are we cool now? I think so. Oh, we in? don't have the Ethernet one that goes in there. That one. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we cool now? Power, power, cables. Yes. Okay. You're plugged back in. One, two, three. I got green lights. I got. I got post. You got post? Do you well, have not on screen? on screen, but um, oh, might help if we plug the monitor in. All right, and now, does the remote light up? Yeah. Hey, we've got an image independent. Yeah, right, but I'm nothing on the, the monitor. I'm gonna put the floppy in. You have anything on your monitor? Nothing. It might take a second to warm up. It's Lights not, orange. It, uh huh. Lights. Is that normal or does it go green? No, it should go green by now. Um, so we've got a video feed. Let's see, made to come out and back yeah, when sure I moved it. I'm going to put the floppy in the drive. Ugh. Ow. Oh, it's permanent. It's wired right into the monitor. Huh? It's wired into the monitor. Okay. Is that in there all the way? Hit F1, or hit F2. Solar M4D3D3, it did not detect primary slave. It's got the hard disk, it's got the CD-ROM. Press F1. 
We're yeah, posting. Yeah, numb lock on. I can't read the things messed up. Yeah, we, we're going to need that monitor. The program caused a, I'm going to guess that says a divide by zero here. All right. We're going to shut it down. Is this uh, different? Hold down a button. Okay, let go. All right, so we got the computer boot. Now we got to figure out how to get an image on a monitor. Didn't you swap So that's it the... for part one. Hang on a second. That's it for part one. You guys tune in. We'll have more for you next time. But uh, now we're going we're gonna to continue doing our thing, but our video cards are full, so we'll be back for more in a bit. Let's take a break. All right. Uh, Good me. All right, Ollie, we're on, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to be standing up? Up and down and up and down and God knows. <laughs> no. Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, mark. I got an image. Monitor's dead. Give it a second. Got hard drives. Starting Windows 95. Hey, we might have something here. However, I have a feeling that something may not be the monitor. Hit enter. Enter. There's no way this could boot to Windows 95. It's, it's not checking the CD-ROM. All right, well, we're in 95. We're, we're in a KUKA thing. But there's no way it's going to work. All right, it's trying to do something. I think what it's doing is, well, I'm pretty sure what it's doing is loading the old hard drive data. Yeah. So we need to tell the BIOS to boot off what? the CD-ROM drive. That's what, it, that's what we wish it looked like. Um, all right, I'm going to let this boot and then shut down. While I'm doing that, grab a different monitor. You got it. All right. Hey, Ollie, you got a flat panel monitor over there we can steal? I can't hear you right now. One out of the control room, maybe? We'll see. If this actually works, will it just run like this? In theory, yeah. Or, I mean, but will I you need to just see, run I need it to like this? I need to see what's on that display there. Disconnect this monitor, then. All right, grab that monitor and pull it out of the way. I'm going to shut this down. I think we may have a tangle. All right, well, sort out the tangle. We're safe at the moment. Um, Ollie, yep. flip the main, because I'm going to try the other pendant and see if we can make it work. Um, I thought you said on the site that that one was... I've, uh, never, I, I've never had the other oh, pendant yeah. work. I think the other pendant is worse than this one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, you're cool. All right. Ah. Ah. All right, grab the other pendant. It's different, isn't it? Is it different? <laughs> well, I think they're the same. Just doesn't hey, have a key work. in it. Yeah, it spares. Yeah. All right, I need a. You've got one. All right. Thank you, I Mikey. You, you rule. Mikey rules. All right, set that down over there. We'll try this first and see if we can get this working. If we can't, then we'll try the other pendant. Here, take this. Yeah. Plug yep. that in. 
This is a Missing. spare monitor for the control room with no bottom. So. <laughs> oh, we're ghetto! The video card is properly seated. Set that somewhere. All right. Okay. Oh, you already got power. Yep, it's already got power. It, oh, the other cool. end of that power needs plugged in. Well, in that case, just switch that power with the one that, that we had on the other. You can't, though. Things are different. Ah, damn. <laughs> but what is this powering? Ooh, danger. Can we have an outlet stretch? Do we have? Yeah, there's one over there we're not using. No. Thank you. Hang on. Here. Plug it into that. Thank you, sir. All right, give me your cord. All right. We've got power. You should be cool. You got a light? Uh, got a light? Got All a light. Right. Ready? All right. All right, you hold the screen. I'll, I'll do the button if you want. All right, fine with me. Ollie, if you would, please. Today, Ollie. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, <laughs> ready? I don't get it. <laughs> Someone. Do it. Three, two, one. Got image here. It's still not working. Yeah, well. All right, I'm gonna turn this computer off. Now I need a keyboard. Keyboard is. We're gonna, we're gonna, all right, we know we're screwed there, so we have nothing to lose on trying to swap out the pendant. Let's try. Give right. me the big plug on the pendant, and what is it labeled? It is. X19? I don't know, there's no label on here. Let's say on the, look at the back, look at the back. No label on back. Great. Okay, well, it'll only fit in one yep, spot. Yep, X19. X19. Okay, cool. Ali, turn the power off. <laughs> Might as well stay over there. Yeah, this, you're, you're going to be there for a minute. Uh. Thank you, sir. That dude's horribly thick. You know, that ain't working. Okay. What the hell? Oh yeah, over there. In the robot. <laughs> Alright. X19 engaged. Ollie on? I need a key. Or no. Actually, never mind. You do I you thought, or don't you? What the? Oh, those just aren't colored. Okay, ready? <coughs> on. So this isn't going to work. Alright, I need to trade me. Yep. Thank you. All right, ready? I don't know if this works at all. Okay, we've never tested this one. Three, two, one. Get your hand on delete. Get ready to hit delete. Don't push oh. it. Oh, this one's broken in another way. <laughs> Shit. This one's even worse. Hit delete. All right. Turning you off. All right, we're going back to the other one because this one's broken even worse. Yeah. I'll, can we what? I'll, I'll swap slots. Where's my other cable? I don't know what the hell. Where's my other X19? Oh, there it is. All right, Ollie, is it on? <coughs> yeah. All right, ready? Now what are yep. we doing? I just moved over to a different sock. Three, two, one. Oh, this pendant. Oh, yeah, of course. Press delete if you want to enter setup. No, I don't want to be there. OK, 
Could it be something with the... Ah, we're in setup, okay. Could it be um, something with the motherboard that's uh, messing with the monitor, do you think? First boot device. Floppy. Yeah, I'm going to get this, that boy. Second boot device. A tappy CD-ROM. Third boot device. Hard drive. Save changes and exit. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Now if we're lucky, we'll boot off the floppy. Is there anything in the floppy? Yeah, there's a floppy in there, but it's not booting off the floppy. We plug the floppy in right, right? I think so. I think so. Are you sure you didn't put in the other floppy? Yeah, I only made one floppy. Yeah, I know, but the other floppy drive. There's only one floppy drive. No, the one that we took out there. Pop it. Nope, nothing. Yeah, I got a disc in this one. I don't have to see you around. But that shouldn't matter. It's plugged in, right? Well, this is annoying as hell. It needs to look at that floppy. Needs, needs, needs to move the plug. Hand me that baggie right there. There. Yeah. Alright, now it's actually bothering to look for the boot record on the floppy. off the floppy. Progress. That's a good thing. Device name is Banana. <laughs> Look! Device name, Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are booted to A. Welcome to old school DOS. Okay, I have to do F disk and I can't see the prompt. Um, uh, let's see. <coughs> I'm just going to try typing. Nope, sub doesn't do it. See on the top. All right. The fact that the mire doesn't want to work is frustrating the hell out of me right now. Ow. I'm formatting C, and it's two gigs, so it'll be okay. All right. You know what? I wonder if there's another video card on over here. <coughs> huh? <coughs> this. Yeah. Got another video card over here. Then this just doesn't work. It doesn't make that work. Hey, Doc. They are designed to work at the same time. We got another video card in this one. 
What? Got an RV card in this one. Pull it! All right. Need a screwdriver. You need that screwdriver. Yep. Understand, I have my head in a box, so I can't yeah. get it from there. Sixty! Wow, man. This is way better than modern day formatting with like a terabyte and a half. 80. <laughs> cool. Man, it takes longer to format a floppy. 90. We are formatted. Excellent. <coughs> Video card. Okay. All right, we're cool here. I'm going to shut this down. Give me a second. All right. Hit it. What the heck is that beeping? I have no idea. Whatever it is, it's annoying. I'm going to put this in here. All right, this is our semi-good video card. So keep that. Original. Yep. Yeah. All right, plug your monitor in. Oh, monitor. monitor. Ready? Hold up. The that's why I couldn't get out. What? The part that the screws you into. It the wrong way. No. Oh, you only want it. All right, more. All right. Good. Yep. Good. Up. Two. One. Kick it. <coughs> oh, there we go. Have you got an image. Image. Oh yeah. All right, we've got a screen. Okay, let me see it, let me see it. Oh, this is a whole new world of happy. <laughs> okay. It's booting off the floppy. What? No, we, we need the screen at this point. You can see it in a minute. <laughs> Do you have a splitter? No, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move at this point. Okay, that, that's let's get that's the good operating to system on it. That's the goal. Okay. Right there, I can see it. See so one. Seven.
What may work going off the R hard drive? Huh? What may work going off the R hard drive? The original? I don't know. I really doubt it. It won't have any of the hard dri the drivers. Um, might be worth a shot. No, what I want to do is run the installation. <coughs> it won't, if I go to... I get to the CD-ROM drive. It's got a disk right there. I have an idea. This is my idea. This is a smarter computer. It might be able to boot off the CD-ROM. And it can't boot off the hard drive. Why is that? Oh, yeah, you reordered it. All right. Now we're booting off the floppy. the CD-ROM. It says device name banana. <laughs> and look at it. Yeah, I know. I saw. Okay. How do I get there? Oh, hang on. Yes! I think. <laughs> I think I have it. There's multiple setup I, I files. Think, yeah, well, there's a bitmap EXE, the INI. It's two EXE. So what's on the CD? It should be a Windows 95 CD. <coughs> so then what's on the floppy? Just to boot to be able to get to the CD. Yes! 
my god, yay. This is something. Okay, hang on, hang on. Where's the mouse? Mouse. Oh yeah, that's right, I moved it so that it won't attack me again. Now it's tangled in something. We're collecting information about the computer. Uh, crap. <laughs> I haven't installed Windows 95 in a while. <laughs> I wonder why. You, you gotta show the camera that. Here guys, check this out. Installing Windows 95. You know, if we moved over there, they could just see the whole process. They can move over here with a camera if they want. Well, we need to be able to see that screen. I was just about to prop this up and go walk. What's beeping? All right, we're there. Do you want to install the Microsoft network? through stuff. <laughs> the high quality multimedia performance will dazzle you. I love the computer. Look, just, <laughs> it's so cool. Ah, I don't hear the beeping anymore. It's a miracle. Okay. We're gonna restart and finish setup. Then what will we do? I have no idea. That would be a good thing to know. <laughs> Don't you have it set to boot off the CD first? Yeah, and I'm hoping it might. Oh. Here's now they don't even say that. See, I thought... This is how you know that Bill Gates put his own personal touch in it. I thought that it would just slipstream everything in because it's got to install the KUKA software and all kinds of other stuff. So I have no idea what we're doing. I mean, we have a CD and a floppy I downloaded off a different website just so I could get a Windows 95 boot floppy. I have no idea what we're doing. We totally have to figure this out. But we figured out how to get this computer to work to begin with, so we're doing all right. I 
know once we get this thing working again, it would be nice to actually mount the monitor on the cage. Yeah, once we get, well, the goal is once we get it all working, we're not going to use a monitor. We're going to hook it up to a projector ah. up on the wall, right under where it says the Geek Group Heavy Industries. That's always been the plan. But right now we have this giant machine with its guts hanging out, so I don't know. If we get that thing to move, it will be great and glorious. But first we have to give it a brain. But we do have the computer working, so that's something. But so far we haven't done anything that involves a robot. I mean, all we've done so far is build a really ugly computer. The only thing that's working with a robot is that there's an image on this. Is there a way to fix that? Yeah. Adjust it. Turn the OSD on. There you Press that button. What? I did. Okay. Press so, press the select buttons or something like that. Alright. Adjust the monitor. While you do that, I'm going to try and get the software installed. Down. Yay. Hey, that's KUKA. Yay! I think this is a KUKA software. It does say KRC. Yeah. Alright. OSD Help. off. I think we've got something here. Alright, we want English. Because <laughs> doing this in German sucks. <laughs> so we're just going to go KUKA standard. General Motors with the Operation Mode T2. So then when it ends... we have a KRC2 control... We do have a KRC2 controller now. Where are all those? A lot of stuff that we don't have. I just picked options that were names that were kind of familiar and went with that. Because it, it had things like MFCIO. Well, that's the MFC. So we'll want that. Yeah. <laughs> Without that, that it's useless. But there's a lot of other stuff like Bosch stuff. I have no idea. This is the kind of thing that should be done by a trained professional. We're just. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Give me some of, with pickles. Yeah. We, <laughs> I have no idea. It'll be a miracle if this works at all. That would be awesome. But I never thought we'd get this far. So, okay. You know if we pull this off, this is like the ultimate hack. Yeah. Than sitting at home watching TV. This is better than playing in the train room. Yeah, this definitely beats sitting at home watching TV. Instead, we're sitting on a cold floor watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even a plot, it's just a little blue line going hey, across. Hey, Omni. Yes. Oh, there, there's high drama. after five. We've been at this all afternoon. <laughs> wow. 
So we just sit back and let it copy. What's in the folder and on the door? It says Hall. What's the serial number? No, but what's inside the folder? I don't know. I wanted to look, but it said stop, so. <laughs> ah! Oh, stop, okay. Hey, you want to look in here? Yeah, sure. What is in here? Some here. guy from Germany is probably going to fly over and shoot me now. Stuff for a shuttle motherboard. Our Windows 95 license. Yeah. Um, in a book. Cry in German. No, it's in English. It says thank you for buying a robot, pretty much. Mm. It's the dear client. Now, what is this thing for? That's a linear actuator. A what? That's a motor that goes back and forth. But right now, we're just copying files over. You know, at this point, I think it's actually taken longer to install Kuka than it has yeah. to install Windows 90. <laughs> I wonder how large all this stuff in. Well, it can't be it any larger than drive. 700. It takes a 2 gig drive to do everything. And so far, it's all coming off of one CD. So Which, it's compressed. at most, could be 700 yeah. compressed. No, CD, not DVD. Yeah, 700 megabytes. Yeah, 700 meg. Yeah. I can't hear you very well. Over yeah. <laughs> it's not... Yeah, a little. It's totally professional. Really. <laughs> oh, God, I hope this works. Well, if it doesn't, you know, it's just a problem with the software then. Most likely. In theory, at this point, if it doesn't work, it's software. We have 20 minutes left. All right, pause. Oh, that uh, the mouse on there actually works as a mouse. The, yeah, when you grab that. I thought I, I saw. I don't know. I thought I saw it move when you hit it. Yeah, that one works. No, I didn't see it. Work. <laughs> yeah, this one moves. Uh, All right, don't mess with it. I don't want okay, to risk okay. hitting a cancel or some shit. <laughs> we'll find out that like, you know. Right, left, forward is cancel in German or something. I don't know. That would suck. And if you piss off the robot, the Germans come! <laughs> Alright, one more bar. Then usually once it gets to that bar, you have to wait for it to get past that bar. That really pisses me off. This is back in Windows 95. It would never lie to you. <laughs> I remember in, uh, I think it was Publisher, for when you made paper airplanes, I used to do that on the computer in Publisher. And it had an option, FM radio. When you click next, it'd be like, we're sorry, but you cannot put an FM radio in a paper airplane. <laughs> I've never seen that. I think it's Publisher 98. 
You know what? I'm bored, so I'm going to pick the plas or the tape off this. <sighs> and this is just copying them to the. Yeah, this is just copying. This is in the setup. This is getting ready to do the setup. Yeah. See, it usually has That's serious pets. business, man. It's a big robot. Yeah. Big robot. Big program. Roar. Something. I don't know. For them, it was a big program. Now, this program's nothing in size. Now This is the KRC version 4.1.7 Service Pack 8 HF1 setup, man. It's in any, I, uh, yeah, here, it's like, okay, first we had Win95, and now we've got the KRC V4.17 Service Pack 8 HF1 setup. So it's a much bigger piece of stuff, even yeah. the name. It's got it all right there. <laughs> all right, we're on the last thing. Oh, yay. Oh. Oh. Yay. Okay, well, that one goes fast at least. How many <laughs> of you are there? <laughs> God. Now we're doing it again. Yeah. Oh. No? I think it might actually be installing at this point. <clears throat> might be. This, th I think this is the actual installation. Because it's putting stuff in separate directories. Kernel update, security, security update. update. Security update. <laughs> There's probably it's, over 500 ways to hack this. One of which we just did. Yeah. Why does it need to run an update if it just... Oh, the Y2K update! Uh-oh. No! Okay, what? Please install the Microsoft TCP IP network protocol from your Windows 95 install disk, then restart setup. Why? We don't even need TCP. Apparently it thinks you do. And that sucks. I'm just going to click OK. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, we're happy. Because there's no networking that's going to happen. This will never be on the internet. I don't even think it has an Ethernet card. Is there an Ethernet port anywhere? Not on the board. We okay. took an Ethernet card off there, I think. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. What the hell is this? Waiting for run DLL EXE to be finished. Internet Explorer 5.5 .5 setup. Installing components. I have an old uh, 3.1 at home in the basement. <laughs> it has a little turbo button. Or yeah. all that means. Yeah, you know what the turbo button does? It turns on a little light that says turbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel better. How did they used to control these before they had uh, a certain thing? I don't know. Because then that it's one. It's the only one uh, I've ever played with, man. I, if they'll yeah. send me more, I'll tell you, but I have no idea. The virus <laughs> scanner. <laughs> it's this installing the good virus one. scanner. Why do you need a virus scanner? Because it's a Windows machine. Only 90% are for, of viruses are for Windows, if I'm correct. Virus pattern update. This may take several minutes. No. This is funny. <laughs> oh. You ready? Yep. Uh, 
We are now restarting the computer. Okay, you show them the screen. Here we go. We are now restarting the computer. We have installed the KUKA software. Now it should boot straight to the KUKA software, right? In theory, we should boot straight to the KUKA software. All right. I'm hearing a clicking from the monitor. Okay, this is starting to look like it should. All right, this is different, but we're, we're closer. I'm guessing uh, once everything's set up, you'll set it so that well, it won't require Yeah, password. once everything's set up, it just, well, as far as I know, when we booted it before, it would go right into the, the KUKA Cross system and the VX system and just be robot. It'd just automatically go right there. Yeah. Um, but we're still doing installation stuff, so. System services. Microsoft VM, what the heck is VM? Virtual machine? I doubt they had that time. No, I think it runs in a virtual machine. Oh, it does? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I think VM is the name of the real-time operating system it works in. It, the robot itself doesn't run Windows. Yeah. It just uses Windows for the GUI. That's it. Uh, we have that little stupid bar down there again. Huh? Have that bar down there for it out of sync. Um, Microsoft database access. This would be so much more entertaining if it had the animated hourglass. <laughs> uh oh. So what's in that crate? Huh? What's in the crate? What's in the what? The crate. Oh, this is a uh, Arctic dress kit for the robot. Oh what? For putting it in, like working it in a freezer. Oh. Pause. You got it? All right, Mikey, get the other camera on. Good. All right, so it is now uh, 10 to 6. We've been at this for about three and a half hours. And uh, this is the error we've got here. Uploader DLL version 2.0. Device driver interface DLL, file name version 3.10. Driver file name version 3.42. No shared memory network driver yet installed. Tells about what it's trying to do. Doesn't work. So I click OK. Cross will shut down. And this program out here you can see is the KUKA Cross 3. So at that point we are screwed. And that's as far as we can get. So we've got the computer working. We've got the software in. There's some, some hacks and tweaks that we've got to figure out at this point. But this is the point where we've gone as far as we're going to go today. So right. we've, we've hit the wall. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the first big step, which is very anticlimactic, I'm sure. And people are going to hate us for posting this video. But, <laughs> but that's uh, real world research, man. Yep. All afternoon, and that's. But we've got the computer together, we've got it working. It's a start. It's something. So yeah. You drove all the way from Indiana to do this. Yep. But did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Well, see, that's the idea. And we've got we gutted this. We've got the computer. Cool. We've got the the hardware side of things is cool. It's this TCP/IP 
the thing, the, the windsock thing that's messing with us. So that's it for today. We want to thank all of you crazy guys who actually just watched all of this. Um, we'll probably edit it down a lot because I'm pretty sure they don't want to watch three and a half hours of video. So you guys have fun. And uh, we'll have more for you next time. Thank you, Matt, for coming. Yep. Try not to look like your dog just died. We just, you know, spent. All right. It's a long day of sitting on a cold floor for nothing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is science. This is the real world. So, yeah, we'll have more for you guys later. You have fun, and uh, that's today's adventure with the Kooka robot. See ya, guys. I'm going to turn the heat back on now.